the 2023 Nesseltop Awards. Hi, thank you for tuning in to the Tom Patelson Show. Yes, the Nestle Top Awards. That's my name spelled backwards and it's something that my girlfriend came up with to do this, uh, which I think is funny. Uh, these are my awards for the things I've seen through science fiction, pop culture, board games, all the things I love and put on this channel. These are my favorites. Uh, there'll be no award, there'll be no actual trophies. Maybe I'll have to buy something to send them, but until then, let's get to the first award. The first award of the day is for biggest surprise. The thing that I saw that I was like, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to like that. I was going to go see it, but I wasn't expecting to like that. The nominees for biggest surprise are Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, The Flash from DC, the Marvels from the MCU, Picard, Season 3, and Star Trek Strange New World, Season 2, Episode 9, Subspace Rhapsody. And the Nestle Top Award goes to Transformers Rise of the Beasts. I've never been a fan of the Transformers movies. My very first video on this channel talked about how I was not into the Transformers. It was not my jam. And this movie came out and I was totally blown away. I thought it was fun. I thought it was entertaining. I loved the teaser at the end talking about G.I. Joe. I was completely in. Bravo, Transformers Rise of the Beasts. It took so many movies to get to one I liked. Thumbs up, way thumbs up. The next Nestle Tom Award goes to Best Voiceover. Best Voiceover. Voiceover talents, uh, we don't talk about them enough. I think there should be an Oscar for one. I don't know if they're going to work on that or not. Best Voiceover. And the nominees are Nicholas Cantu for his performance of Leonardo in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Leah Lewis for her performance as Ember from Pixar's Elemental. Ron Perlman for his performance as Optimus Primal from Transformers Rise of the Beasts. Bradley Cooper for his performance as Rocket in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And Shamik Moore for his performance of Miles Morales in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And the Nestle Top goes to Shamik Moore as Miles Morales. I was not the biggest fan of this one, um, of this movie. I thought it had a lot of issues, but it is Spider-Man, it is brilliant to watch, it is beautiful, and Shamik Moore nails it. He was 100% Spider-Man, I'll buy him every time. Bravo, excellent job, Shamik. You're the winner of the Nestle Tobbs Best VoiceOver Award. One of my favorite hobbies, one of my favorite things to do with my friends, and one of my favorite things are games, board games, role-playing games, games in general, is something I do on this channel. So the Nestle Tob Award goes to Best Game. And for Best Games, the nominees are Reckland Run from Renegade Games, creator Scott Alms. Star Trek Ascendancy from Gale Force 9 Games. Tiny Epic Crimes from Gamelin Games, creator Scott Alms. Survive Escape from Atlantis from Restoration Games. Modifius Entertainment's Star Trek Adventures Captain's Log Solo Role Playing Game. And from Gladden, Paper Apps Dungeon. I know some of those games didn't come out this year, but these are the games I learned to play this year or played for the first time this year, or games I loved and reviewed. But the best game of the year goes to. Star Trek Ascendancy. I don't know if there was any doubt about that. Star Trek Ascendancy is the most Star Trek-y game next to Captain's Law, which almost won this year, but Star Trek Ascendancy is brilliant and fun and amazing and the little ships and the vast of the universe. It is playing Star Trek more than any other game I've ever played. It is my favorite space game, it is my favorite Star Trek game, and it's the winner of the 2023 Nesseltob for best game. Congratulations, Star Trek Ascendancy from Gale Force 9.
It's no surprise if you can see the shelf behind me and the tiny figurines and the prominence of Star Trek. So this next award, the Nesseltop, goes to Best Star Trek from 2023. The things I've seen, the things I've played, the things I've done, what is Best Star Trek from 2023? The nominees are from Odiphius Entertainment, Star Trek Adventures, Captain's Log solo role-playing game. From Gale Force 9, Star Trek Ascendancy. Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Episode 9, Subspace Rhapsody. Also from Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Those Old Scientists, that is the Lower Deck crossover. And Star Trek Picard, Season 3. The Nesseltop goes to, for best Star Trek, Picard, Season 3. It was everything I wanted. Star Trek The Next Generation is my preferred Star Trek fandom. It is, I, I love it more than anything else. And this gave me everything I wanted. It gave me Worf being com a complete badass. It, it sewed up all of the, the issues with the storyline. It gave all the characters the great things that they do as their characters. It is everything I wanted. I sincerely hope those characters don't return because what a perfect button that is on their universe. Yeah, it is absolutely best Trek. Star Trek Picard, season three. Congratulations on your Nasseltab Award. So I saw a lot of movies this year and did a lot of reviews on movies for this channel. These are the movies I have seen. So keeping in mind that the awards talking about movies are only from this list. The things I've seen and reviewed for the channel, which brings me to my next award, Best Actress in a Movie that I've reviewed for the channel. And the nominees are Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. Iman Vellani for The Marvels. Phoebe Waller-Bridge for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Michelle Rodriguez for Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves. And Emily Blunt for Oppenheimer. And the Nesseltob for Best Actress in a Movie I Reviewed goes to. Iman Vellani for The Marvels. I thought she stole the show. All the actresses are great. I love all of those performances, but Iman Vellani, I was like, I, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch her as Ms. Marvel. I didn't see the TV show. And I thought, well, who is this actress stealing the show? She was eminently watchable, rootable. I wanted to see her win. I loved that character. She did a fantastic performance, and she is the winner of Best Actress for the Nesseltop. Congratulations, Iman Vellani. If we do the best actress, of course, we have to do the best actor in a movie that I've reviewed again from this list. And the nominees for best actor in a movie I've reviewed are Michael Fassbender for The Killer, Leonardo DiCaprio for Killers of the Flower Moon, David Harbour for Gran Turismo, Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer, Chris Pine for Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, and Keanu Reeves for John Wick 4. And the Nesseltob goes to Michael Fassbender for The Killer. He has very little lines. He has very little dialogue, and I couldn't take my eyes off him. I could not take my eyes off of him as this character, as this killer, this person whose job is I could not stop watching him. He's the reason I like that, and he absolutely deserves the Nesseltov for Best Actor. Congratulations, Michael Fassbender. Only two Nesseltovs left. Those awards are for the Best TV Season and for Best Movie. Yeah, I don't say film. Yeah, I don't say picture. I say movie. I'll always say movie. Every now and again, you'll catch me saying film, but I'll say movie. But let's do television first. Best television season that I've reviewed on this channel. The nominees are Andor, season one. The Mandalorian, 
Season 3. Star Trek Picard, Season 3. Star Trek Strange New Worlds, Season 2. Star Trek Lower Decks, Season 4. And Loki, Season 2. This is a tough category. I really did love all of these. I really got into it this year, finding my, my sci-fi fandom, my, my Marvel fandom. I love all of this stuff, I do. But the award for best season, like there was ever any doubt, is Picard, season three. Yeah, it's best Star Trek, of course it is best season. I've already the aforementioned why I love it and everything about it, all the way to, to when the Enterprise D comes out. Goodness, as the Borg Enterprise D go on and on and on. Congratulations once again on your second Nestle Top of the Year for Star Trek Picard, Season 3. For the final Nestle Top, it is Best Movie. All of the nominees, again, these are the movies I saw and did for the channel. My nominees are the ones that I loved and big fans of, so I, I, I really did enjoy all of the nominees this year. The nominees are for Best Movie. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. Transformers Rise of the Beasts. From DC, The Flash. Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. The Killer, starring Michael Fassbender from Netflix. And Avatar, The Way of Water. Best movie. The Nestle Tob for best movie for me goes to. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, I know. I know. Why did I pick? Because I've given it the first Nesseltop award that I've ever given out, which is Best of Franchise. It's the best thing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have ever done. You can watch my review or not. I thought it was brilliant and amazing, and as much as we love that franchise so much, we put, there are so many television shows, there are so many movies, there are so many reboots. Why, why, why? This one I thought was thoroughly enjoyable. I walked out going, I didn't expect to like that as much as I did, and I do. I love all of those movies on the list, but for best movie, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutant Mayhem. Congratulations on your Nestle Top. And that'll do it for another year on the Tom Battelson Show and this goofy tie. I apologize, I have a pack of Christmas bow ties and I thought I'd throw this on because it's ridiculous and I love it that it's ridiculous. I almost wore an ascot. I'll wear an ascot next year. I love wearing an ascot. I think that's a silly thing too, but I love it. Thank you for following me on this channel. Uh, I haven't said like and subscribe in a while. Like and subscribe if you like this content. Hit that notification bell so you know when my stuff drops. It drops on Sunday. And thank you for coming on this journey. I know I probably didn't pick the things you wanted me to pick. I apologize for that a, a, a little. I apologize a little bit. But chime in what you like. Let me know what you're watching. Let me know what you're nerding on. And let me know about your geek. And stay tuned for the rest of this year when I drop my episode for Star Trek Adventures Captain's Log role-playing game that'll be coming up soon. Till I see you next time, as always. Peace, love, live long, and prosper. 